Hello, welcome to today's edition of New Vision TV's Pal of Africa Diaries. With me, your pal guide, Ruth Nasege. And as we continue to explore Uganda's wildlife, today we look at the zebra. Now, the zebras are known for their white and black striped coats. But did you know that a zebra can walk over 3,000 kilometers in search for food? Unlike human beings, the gestation period for a zebra is 12 to 14 months. Now we explore more about the zebra in today's edition. Imagine lying down to eat your food and then stand up to sleep. This sounds not practical for any living thing, but for the zebras, it is a way of life. The zebras are herbivorous animals, and after a long day of grazing, these single hoofed animals gather in groups and sleep. Unlike most animals that look for comfortable places to lie down, the zebras sleep while standing. They will run away. These animals are close related to horses and donkeys. They share the scientific classification. However, the most distinctive feature on zebras are the bold patterns on their skin. Growing up, every child in their infant school stages are taught the zebra crossing. This is simply a demarcated area on the road where vehicles should reduce speed or stop to allow pedestrians to cross. The area normally has black and white paintings stripped carefully and wide enough for both motorists and pedestrians to see. If you never knew why such crossing points are called zebra crossing, just look at this animal. Likewise, in the wild, these stripes strike. This is because the zebras move in large numbers. The coats definitely add beauty to the Uganda's national parks. National parks such as Lekimboro National Park and Kidepo Valley National Park in Uganda are the best places you can find the zebras. If you fear the wild and you badly need to see these creatures, Uganda Wildlife Education Center has some. But while on those game drives to the wild in the national parks, you can see them riding through the woods, like this seen at Queen Elizabeth National Park. For them to survive in the wilderness, zebras travel up to 1,800 miles or nearly 3,000 kilometers from their base in search for food. Some zebras also eat leaves and twigs. When you reach in front, you will go off track. Africa is known to be home to the highest number of zebras, but various zebra species have their own home. Plain zebras live in the treeless grasslands and woodlands of eastern and southern Africa. The grey zebras live in the arid grasslands of Ethiopia and northern Kenya. The mountain zebra is found in South Africa, Namibia and Angola. But no matter the species of zebras, under the strips is a black surface. Worth noting is that each zebra has a different pattern of strips. This can be seen clearly when you are close to them. The strips act as fingerprints. Each individual's pattern is unique. Fowls or baby zebras recognize their mothers by the pattern of their strips.
The gestation period of a zebra is 12 to 14 months. The males become sexually mature at 4 years as females become active at the age of 2 to 4 years. They usually give birth in rainy seasons. Zebras breed almost the whole year. During breeding, males gather females. They can kick, push and bite each other's necks. A female zebra is called a male while a male zebra is called a stallion. Keeping themselves in groups is one of the ways they protect each other. In the groups, they communicate with each other while whining and barking. <laughs> Here is the scientific classification of a zebra. The kingdom is Animalia, Phylum Chodata, class Mammalia, order Persodactyla, family Equidae, genus Equis, species is Hippotrigris and Dolichohippus. <laughs> It is always an adventure here on New Vision TV's Pal of Africa Diaries with me, your pal guide, Ruth Nasije. But remember, if there is any wild animal you'd love us to profile for you, just leave a comment below.